Welcome back to Elsinore. We've set a lot of things in motion that we kind of just have to wait for to see what happens. Uh, namely, two big things. We took care of King Claudius's poison cache, so hopefully Polonius will stay alive after that meeting with Claudius. And then also we completed the lead for the melancholy of Lady Brit. So Lady Brit now kind of likes us, maybe? Anyway, we're supposed to do something with them, like go with them when they go out of town to the tavern. But I don't know how to do that. It's not listed on the timeline, so I think we just have to wait. So for now, let's just wait. What's going on in there? Just Hamlet on their own? Yeah, just Hamlet on their own. Oh, what, what day is it, by the way? It's Friday, so it's only the second day. The family's gonna sit down to dine. Do I want to be there for that? I don't know, sure. I guess. Oh. The ladies are speaking. What's, what's gonna be happening in here with Irma? My lady. <clears throat> How are you getting by, my lady? Are your spirits high? Oh. Managing already nothing I can't handle. Oh, I think we've seen this before. Yeah, we've seen this before. I think we're all about to die. Let's see if anything interesting happens here. Hmm. Ah, so I'll read this out because I cut over it last time we saw it, and I think it was new before. My food looks like it was pushed around by a pig's snout. It's insulting. Hamlet. How can you be like that? No manners at all. What an imp. What was that, Laertes? Nothing, my lord. The stew tonight is excellent. Eat quickly! The quality is not in its appearance, but its taste, my lord. Well, mother's dinner has been well plated. Only mine looks like it's been stirred up. Here. If it truly bothers you so, I'm more than happy to switch. Fine. No, no, my lady. If the food does not please your majesty, I will return to the kitchen at once. No need, Irma, truly. Hmm. See? Delicious. <gasps> oh, goodness. Hmm. Oh, wait, right, right, right. This is the timeline where Irma wants to kill Hamlet. Wants to murder them, right? They poisoned the food, and Gertrude just ate it. Oh, no. I feel suddenly ill. I'm going to be sick here, I fear. Can someone... Can someone help me to... What? What in God's name? Her mouth. Blood. Poison. What was she fed? Who put such a thing in her meal? Seize Irma immediately. Men, to me, at once. Uh, wait, did they eat some of it too? Oh my God. Wait, why? Why did Irma kill Claudius? She killed them both. N no, my lady, I meant... I intended... She was trying to murder me. Mother. Oh my god. What is happening? Why? You idiot child, I meant it to be you. Guards, take her at once. Let her rot in the cell until I decide what to do with her. Gertrude and King Claudius die. Irma shatters and will not recover. I didn't know it was possible for King Claudius to die. That's interesting. I wonder what the knock-on effect of that would be. Who's in charge now? What's the... Um, the... Line of secession? Or the line of... I don't know if it's even secession in this case. But yeah, who's in command temporarily? 
Oh, it'd be Ham. It'd be young Hamlet, wouldn't it? I believe so. It would have to be. We learn more about Irma's ire. We do indeed. I still don't know why they killed King Claudius. That was on purpose. That wasn't a switched plate. They intended that the whole time. Polonius, you are standing on my mother's head. <laughs> Thanks. Or not my mother. Sorry. Gertrude is not my mother. So. That happened. I'm glad I came to dinner. Well, we don't have to fear the poison anymore. Poison's not there, but who cares? The king isn't there to use it. How is this going to affect the story? I have no idea. Huh. Okay, so this quest advanced. I can hardly believe what came of all this. Yerma poisoned Gertrude and Claudius to death. Not intentionally, of course. She was trying to eliminate Hamlet, but she was summarily thrown in the dungeon. I don't want to think about what Hamlet might do to her next, but I feel some obligation to see this horrible world run its course. Wait, not intentionally, of course. I mean, Gertrude wasn't intentionally, but how could Claudius not have been intentional? Shall we go see Irma? Probably can't say anything right now, right? Nope, but I'm sure at some point, at least Hamlet's gonna come now to speak with him. Maybe Bernardo, too. Forest path, that's probably gonna be mushroom picking. Ah, right, the announcement. Let's not listen. Is this the play that's gonna be going on in here? Hi. Ophelia. A uh, word in private, please. <sighs> He's dead. I can scarcely believe it. I just wish I knew what father would say. Mother. And mother, her life, she was caught up in all this. Would that she still lived. <sighs> Poor Gertrude, she didn't deserve that. I... I never thought I'd make it this long. I thought everything was so dark for so long. I couldn't feel, couldn't think. All I wanted to do was die. Some part of me still does. I know. But now you've got to make the hardest decision of your life. Where do you go from here now that you've chosen to live? Hmm. I think I already know. I've spent these long months trying to purge you from my mind, but I couldn't do it. All the same, I know you've despised me from afar all summer. I wanted to respect that boundary. If it's true that you love me no longer, I'll go, and I'll never trouble you again with my affections, nor stumble blindly into your room at dawn. You have only to say the word. What will the others say, Hamlet? What does that mean? You know well. The forces at work in Elsinore are far stronger than whatever I might desire. Don't you think I saw the way your uncle looked at me? As though I were an annoying insect? But he's gone now, Ophelia. He's dead. Listen. I'm prince of this country. And soon, God willing... I will be king. What could you desire that would be beyond my power to control? You and I are bound by different privileges. That's a truth of this castle. But it doesn't have to be. Not anymore. Is that still something of interest to you? <sighs> Revisiting a relationship, you mean? Yes. Do you want me still? I... 
was vile to you. I knew it even then. I've done things to you that would shame my father, were he still alive. No amount of apology can ever remove what I've done to you. But despite all that, I am deeply, truly, eternally sorry for things I said and did to you. And if you can find it in your heart to ever think of me with affection. Hamlet. What you did to me was wrong. You tried to wound me with everything you had. You came after me again and again, and it hurt. I don't know that I can ever trust you again after that, or whether you deserve my trust. Yes. You're right. With my uncle's passing, I've come to believe in a world of fundamental justice. Justice for all who have been wronged, including you. And in a just world, I treat you as my partner and better for the rest of our lives. The mistakes of our pasts teach us where those whom we love deserve to be. And you, you deserve to rule Denmark at my side. You'd be a magnificent queen. I've always said as much, even in my cruelest moments. Please. Can you share that vision with me? Can you trust me again? Ooh. Um, I almost have to say yes, right? Just to see where it goes. I'm really curious. In reality, I don't want to. I don't think Ophelia wants to. But let's follow this all the way down. Yes. Ophelia learns about an event in which Hamlet confronts... Claudius? About the murder of his father. Wait, what? How can you confront a dead person? So, your answer? I don't forgive you, Hamlet. Not yet, but... I suspect something in me misses you, after all. Why are you crying? Isn't this what you wanted? No, no, it's not that. These last few days have been... These last few months have been a living hell. I couldn't agree more. Are you afraid of what comes next? More than I've ever been. No one is certain what the chain of command ought to be. I intend to take advantage of that ambiguity. It's time I sat the throne. What's your plan? I... I don't have one. Not yet. If only there were someone who could give me advice. Help me through this. Oh. I might have some ideas. Wait. Where are you going? Will I see you tonight? <laughs> don't be afraid, Hamlet. The future belongs to you. Allow me to put thought to action on your behalf. Until we meet again. Acquire the information making a king. Learn about a future event in which Hamlet and I discuss how he will rule. Man, this is a whole new plot thread that we have not touched upon before. Whole new lead. I told Hamlet I wanted to try again with us, that things might be different this time. I truly believe in my heart of hearts that he's changed, but will it stay that way? What if he returns to the horrid person he's been all summer? I'll have to abandon him again then, and I'm not certain what would come of it. But for now, I remain hopeful. When is the discussion coming up? Hamlet's revenge is complete? What? That's happening now? Where we are right now? Is it what we just discussed? The quote-unquote revenge? Hmm. 
Looks like about 24 hours from now we're going to discuss how they're going to rule. What about the ladies leaving on a boat? I forgot when that was supposed to happen. Is it still going to happen? Who the heck knows? Quince, what are you doing in there for so long? I thought he'd be doing a, a play, I guess? But there's nobody Ladies here. Ladies and gentlemen! In the kingdom of a certain Lord Gonzago, there rests a terrible predicament. Every morning he wakes up, and like a good ruler, attends to his duties. Yet every night, when he goes to sleep, he wakes up on the very same day once more. How horrible! The poor king reflects upon his situation. Hmm. I'm trapped here, it seems, for worse or for ill. Doomed to see the same dawn a thousand times or more. Ah. What ails you, my lord, my love? <sighs> Fret not, my dear Baptista. I could not make you understand. As the years pass, and yet pass not at all, madness overtakes him. No matter what I try, when I open my eyes again, there my wife lies beside me, as peaceful as a lamb. Unaware of the pain I've suffered, the madness I've endured, caught between life and death. I know what you're doing. Well, I should hope so. Couldn't be more blatant if I tried. And what are you trying to achieve with this? My dear girl, Everything I do in this world is but a pathetic move to entertain myself a little before death eventually gets me. Isn't that true of all human beings? Isn't that true of you as well? Entertainment? You call this entertainment? Oh, maybe not for you, certainly for me. But I think the show's rather over, isn't it? What a disappointing performance. I didn't even reach the beautiful conclusion. All right, good talk. <laughs> Can we mention any of the new stuff? Um, have I mentioned Fortinbra before? Quince. Yes. Yes, yes. I anticipate he and his little cretinous attaché are somewhere in the marshes near this castle at the moment. But if we both know that, surely we can stop it. Not while the men in charge of allocating this castle's defenses are unconvinced of any wrongdoing. What if I could fix that, now that Hamlet's in control? <laughs> if only there were someone who knew Fortinbra closely who might be willing to come forward. Wink, wink. Hey, where is Lady Brit? They didn't leave without me, did they? Should I have been following them the whole time? They really aren't here. What are you two talking I... about? It's as if nothing's changed. He's dead, and all moves on without him. How quickly the loss of a king and queen is recoverable. <sighs> Perhaps the moment after one's king has been taken is a quiet one. The game is over and must be started anew. And now I line myself up on the edge of the board, ready to fight in his stead. Hamlet. <laughs> this should be a moment of triumph for you. This is what your father wanted, isn't it? You've eliminated the fox from your henhouse. Murder has been answered with its own kind. 
Come now, isn't that cause for celebration? No. My father is still dead. I thought Claudius' death would make it all feel right, but it doesn't. It's exactly the same, and now somehow worse. I never wanted to be king. And I'm going to fail them all. How long will it take them to realize what an idiot I am if they haven't yet? How useless I am. No less a pretender than my uncle. Hamlet. Look at me. Chin up. Ah. Uh. That's a good lad. Now, deep breath. A big one. Ah. Uh. There. I see a little color in your cheeks. Feeling any better? Horatio. I don't deserve you, really. <laughs> I know. And yet, here I am. The road before you is a difficult one. But it is one many men have trodden before you and will tread after you are gone. You can do this, I promise it. I have everlasting faith in you, in the goodness that lies within your frail little heart. And if you cannot believe in your own heart, believe in my good taste at least. You need to face this head on, and you shall. In a scant few days' time, when all this has passed, you will go before the nobility and ask their vote to wear the crown. If you can find it within you to be ready for that day, then you will make a great king. My thanks. You're right. The time has come to put aside childish things. Never forget that I'm here. Hmm. And Ophelia's here. Even if she likes to skulk around pretending we don't see her. Oh, oh. <laughs> and as long as you have friends in this world, you can do just about anything. Now go about your business as usual. But keep your head turned up and your shoulders back. Act like the king you will be. I will. <laughs> I love how that line is delivered. I will. Thank you both. This was... This is exactly what I needed. Farewell. You know where to find me if you need me. Ah, Lady Brit. Oh. Astrid. Queen Astrid. Such a sad, longing face for a queen. Have we seen this before? Such beautiful color work. We have seen this before, haven't we? Yeah, that went nowhere. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What if I just follow Brit now? Whoa. What? Did that work? Forgive me, Lady Ophelia, but I cannot let you leave. Wait, so all I had to do was follow them and then they would just go? Why not? I'd like to go for a stroll. Your father decreed the guard, uh, to guard Captain Bernardo that you were not to leave the castle grounds after, well, you and Hamlet. Mm hmm. And with all of us guards on thin ice lately, I'd hate to anger the guard captain. At least not before I recoup my losses tomorrow night. Uh, I said too much. Hmm. Sounds like there's more to the situation. I wonder if the other guards know more. The guards are acting strangely. Indeed. Just wanted to get another cheeky try in there. Let's go to Bernardo. Bernardo. What have your men been getting up to lately, Bernardo? Hmm. Lately? Uh, nothing at all, of course. Uh, we had some incidents with gambling a few weeks ago. I know they do it, but I've banned them from doing it within the castle. 
It's sinful behavior. It leads to a lack of discipline, and I won't stand for it in the guard quarters. And you certainly aren't doing it any longer. Cygnus mentioned something about playing at night. Ugh. <sighs> Those idiots. I'll keep an eye out, and if I see anything in the future, I will handle it with swift and merciless justice. Learn about a future event in which the castle guards are up to no good. Is that why they were preventing me from leaving? Because they didn't want me to see the fact that they were gambling outside of the castle? Is, is that the thing they were doing? Like at the tavern, maybe they're gambling and they didn't want me to see the guards gambling there. Because I mentioned it to Marcellus too. Sickness at the town gate is acting strangely. Something about being on thin ice and winnings. Do you know why? Ah, uh, uh, I don't know. Don't look at me with those big angry eyes. I won't talk for no one. Uh. Uh, all right. So clearly the answer is yes, but he won't tell me. Then who? When's that future event? Wait. It said there'd be a future event, in which they talk to the guards. Where is it? Hmm. Let's go hang out in the courtyard for now, I guess. Hmm. Ah, something going on on the walls. That's probably the ghost, right? Uh, what's... What's going to happen there? I don't know, but it hasn't happened yet. I probably won't make it there in time. In fact, it's already over time. Cleocatra? Oh, Junior, that's a new one. Hi. Oh, this... This is new. Prince Fortinbra. My lord. I, I've further news for you, my lord Fortinbra. My lady. Excellent. My time is increasingly limited as we prepare for the siege. Claudius is dead. As well, I'm sure you've heard by now. And Hamlet is to succeed him. I believe my father has sent his recommendation that Hamlet and I be betrothed. What would you have me do, my lord? You know that I have indomitable faith in the way you think and act. If young Hamlet is king, then you must stand by his side. After my men have settled the castle and flown the flag of Norway, you will need someone to steer him under my interests. So you aim to make him a puppet? Yes, a king in name, but a vassal to me in spirit. I fear there's something impossible in that. He would reject a betrothal at the moment, I think. His heart belongs to someone else. Ooh, so if I didn't accept Hamlet's offer to get back together with them, this would probably play out differently, wouldn't it? To whom? The daughter of Duke Polonius. Her name is Ophelia, and she's a strong-headed girl. She cannot be easily persuaded. So long as Ophelia lives, Hamlet will never be fully faithful to any bride he's given. Uh-oh. He loves her more than anything in this world. I see. Then the path forward is clear. Are you prepared to eliminate her of your own hand? You know her face, her habits, her comings and goings. My men and I are utterly at your liberty. What? You want me to kill her? I know it is no easy request. The taking of a life should never be treated lightly. But... For the good of your country, and for the sake of your father, are you willing? Your people will no longer starve. Your king will no longer be a cruel despot. I promise you kindness and prosperity. No. I, I don't think I can. Something doesn't feel right about it. I've never liked the girl, but evidently there's something very wrong here. I don't know if I could kill her. Very well. I understand. 
I'll find some other path forward. Worry not. Everything proceeds as it was planned. Let us meet tomorrow night. In town, not here. I shall have further information on keeping you and your family safe. The future of Anna Witch Brit is lingering in town. So yeah, can I leave yet? Or are you still going to be weird? Still going to be weird. Quins, what are you what are you doing in here? Welcome. So good of you to come. I do so love this gallery. King Claudius may be a buffoon, but King Hamlet loved the great dramas and tragedies. There are even type printed copies on these shelves. There's something so relaxing about a deep, bloody drama. No. Not me. I prefer to read happier tales. Boring. Stories can be beautiful without being happy, don't you think? Here. Ovid's Pyramus et Thisbe, or Thisbe, the greatest love story ever written. For now, of course, until some half rate bard steals and replicates it. Oh. Alas, only death could take you from me. Therefore, let us not be parted by death. Two young lovers, so deeply fallen into one another that they'd rather die gruesomely than live apart. What fun! Don't you think that's beautiful? Ugh. You have a funny definition of beautiful. I'd rather see them alive and well. Death is never the ideal solution. Not for me. Ah. You're a woman all about solutions, aren't you? I knew you were a bright girl. Unfortunately, things happen to bright girls in this world. Why? Why did you really ask me to come here, Quince? What do you want? Indeed, what do I want? A larger question for another world. But for now, I'm going to give you the ability to change the content of the play I perform. Hmm? If you have any juicy gossip you'd like to see on stage, you need only ask. That's all? What more were you expecting? Adieu, Lady Ophelia. That's very interesting. Very interesting. Just gonna keep waiting. Oh. What's gonna be happening in the graveyard? <laughs> 